Hello, we are coming in live from Summit and not just any day at Snowflake Summit, but the last day, the final two hours. And I am so excited to be here with Ted from Havu. He's been here all week and I would love to hear what did you think of this week's announcements? Yeah, it's been a, a great week. Uh, love being here and sort of seeing all the latest developments in Snowflake. And uh, for us, I think a lot of what's been really interesting is learning about some of the new workload uh, capabilities. Um, our business, we do a lot of, it's very analytics heavy. Mm. So I've been doing a lot on Snowflake and SQL, but sort of more Python support, more sort of AI, ML, those things are kind of getting our team pretty excited. Mm -hmm. So today, uh, that's been um, really interesting. And then we uh, work in the data collaboration privacy space. So all of those new capabilities, privacy budgets, sort of new capabilities around security and governance, that's all sort of core to what we do. So between the new analytic capabilities, some of the new security privacy capabilities, that's uh, it's been really interesting to see. We're really excited to, to do it. And, and of course, the native app. So we're a, we're a native app, so we, uh, we were really excited to, to see that kind of go mainstream this week. Very exciting announcement on Tuesday. So one thing I was looking forward to about our conversation is when you're not working the booth. Yeah. Uh, my understanding is you're the chief customer officer. So you get to kind of marry what you hear here as long as along with what customers are asking for. So I'd love to know, like, what are they asking for? What's the importance of data clean rooms? Like, how does this all come together? Yeah, and, and you know, our uh, we've, we were fortunate to have a lot of great mutual customers with Snowflake. Mm -hmm. Many of them were here this week. And, you know, the reason they're working with us typically as, a, as an application provider, a software provider, are running Snowflake is automation, scale. And so ultimately, right, what we want to see is data collaboration go bigger, go faster, uh, easier to, to stand up and start, easier to use, uh, accelerate sort of adoption mm -hmm. of that mm -hmm. for partners who are sort of entering the Snowflake ecosystem via data collaboration. Um, figuring out all those little friction points mm -hmm. that prevent, you know, some of our customers from, from really scaling these programs rapidly and, and, uh, and over time sort of knock those friction points out and, and, and make it grow. That's like the, the major ask, right, is, is every little point that introduces a step of friction in that process, how can we as, a, as an application, as a software provider, make that go away and, and enable them to do their thing at a greater scale, greater velocity? Yeah, that's awesome. So um, one thing I sometimes like to ask people, especially folks that sit in the C-suite, is what was your last aha moment? Yeah, so, um, so two of our sort of flagship customers that are uh, were here this week are Disney 8451. So they're- Heard of them. <laughs> leaders, leaders in the collaboration space. Yeah. And, uh, but admittedly, it's, it's, it's still nascent, it's still early mm -hmm. in, in this sort of data clean room category. And, and so as we've been seeing these programs grow, it's, it's, there's been a lot of real hand-holding, right? Mm -hmm. As far as how do, we, how do we start to get these programs off the ground? What are the use cases that we're enabling? Are we onboarding our partners successfully? And what's really started to happen over the last, you know, really over the last several months, is now we've seen our, our customers actually self-serving in a way and, and driving the innovation where all of a sudden we wake up the next day and there's a bunch of activity that's happened. There's new use cases that have been authored. There's new collaboration invites that have gone out. So for us, seeing that get to the point where our customers are, uh, are self-serving in a way where they're innovating uh, not just on top of Snowflake, but on top of our software. Mm -hmm. And we wake up and they've invented something kind of completely net new that we haven't seen before. Oh, that's so cool. That's, that's exciting because it's, it's a sign of uh, really this hitting a, a maturity level where, yeah, the, the hand holding's kind of over, right? Yeah, like yeah, it's, yeah. it's starting to take on a life of its own and 
and I think there's only sort of more good things that happen as as customers are empowered to do that. Yeah. Well, one one thing you touched on is kind of what a new concept data cleanrooms yeah. is. Um, native applications, and it is kind of cool to see us all as an industry learning together. Yep. Are there any common misconceptions you find that customers have, or maybe even some of your peers and colleagues? Yeah. Well, you know, I think the the thing that we often the conversation that always comes up, I think, mm -hmm. is, is Snowflake has so much amazing capability for data sharing, data collaboration, mm -hmm. and, and the question of like, what is the distinction between sharing data and, and partnering with someone in a data cleanroom capacity? Mm. And, uh, and, and really, it's, a, it's an added level, I, I think, of security, privacy, and governance on top of frictionless sharing yeah. that distinguishes a, a data cleanroom from sort of a general purpose sharing capability. And, and, and that's kind of where the added complexity comes in because sharing data at high velocity is great, right? Snowflake makes that easy. Mm -hmm. um, but sharing that data in a way where the partner can't see it but can still run permitted analysis and where privacy controls are enforced on analytics so that you know consumer privacy is, is protected and there are guardrails in place, that's the extra sort of nuance that yep. distinguishes what does it mean to be working in a data clean room versus just general data sharing, data collaboration. Yeah, and I would think some of those are like the secret sauce that make companies like Disney okay with going down this path, which is, is really cool. Yeah, of, of course. I mean, listen, it's, uh, it's, it, it's, a, it's a great thing that there is so much more focus today on consumer privacy, on data security, and frankly, uh, it, it wouldn't be possible without some of these technologies with Snowflake, cloud native, making it that much easier to, uh, to do analysis in a way that you don't have to expose data, yeah. that you can protect it and you don't have to move it, ship it around the internet, right? Uh, some technology like Snowflake is, is really helping power all that. That's, well, speaking of that, you are one of our best and brightest Powered by Snowflake partners. <laughs> Um, we love having you in the program, but I'd love to hear just for other builders or companies that might be considering how they're going to build their product or application, what made your technical teams decide to go that route? Yeah, you know, I think um, it's interesting. Uh, one of the sessions yesterday, Justin Langseth, uh, quick plug for Justin, who is <laughs> somebody we work with very closely as we were getting up and running with Snowflake, but uh, had this uh, concept of data gravity, mm -hmm. right? where where, where where there's already this concentration of data it just attracts other applications and services. And I think you know, we're seeing that with Snowflake and, and we understand that our customers don't want to move their data. They want our services, if we can add value as a software provider, to go to where their data is. And, um, and so that extends to the Powered By concept, right? Mm -hmm. Like we want to, Snowflake is, been building this tremendous ecosystem of customers, of partners, uh, the media data cloud, the retail data cloud, and in navigating all of that as sort of a, a young company is is challenging, but we, we want to be able to go into that ecosystem, add value through the software, and, uh, and I think the Powered By team has really helped us yeah. um, figure out how to unlock those things, so how to build better on Snowflake, how to work with within the ecosystem to stitch things together together to sort of take these core capabilities or these core sort of partner offerings and, and turn them into sort of full-fledged solutions. Awesome. Well, if folks want to learn more, which I'm sure they do, where should they go? Habu.com. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Ted.